really try dancing but after today I'm just like wow dancing is a part of me now it's like a part of my blood I did not want to do that dance class at all and I just wanted to come here and do painting and I ended up doing the second dance class too because I thought it was really fun it really just like let me loosen up what did you like about the salsa? I like the fact that I like got to dance with our girls and we got to actually move our hips around was amazing and I loved it a lot. Hi, my name is um, Charnel Ruff. Uh, I am the educational director at the Boys and Girls Club of Santa Monica. And I'm Garen Campbell. I'm the branch director of Boys and Girls Club of Santa Monica. Um, just to see the kids express their artistic sides, um, it's definitely not like something that they have nowadays, you know, in school and everything. Some don't even know each other that well, and the mm -hmm. salsa dancing and the partnering put them in that place where they had to interact with each other. Yeah. One, sure. one girl said it was weird, but it was good, in a good way. Most definitely. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And, you know, one yeah. thing that we've learned through youth development is, um, you know, when kids are in their comfort circle, the learning doesn't begin. Mm -hmm. So as soon as they step out of their comfort Branch circle, out of that. one of the things that Tony said, hey, let's bring them to my studio. Let's not do it in your club, let's do it in my studio. Yeah. That was magnificent and brilliant because it got them out of that comfort egg of the Boys and Girls Club. Mm -hmm. We know if it's in the Boys and Girls Club, we're safe. Well, they have to trust that the staff are taking them into a safe environment. Exactly. We're bringing them into this beautiful studio and then that's when the learning gets to begin. And they get to, that's where you start to see the growth. Like, hey, you don't know this kid because we have a couple different sides here. You don't know them. You don't know how to dance. You don't know this instructor. You don't even know where you are. But, but you're doing this all together. Most right? definitely. Experiencing everything all at the same time. So it's exactly. really, really, really beautiful. My name is Janet Feldames and um, I'm a dancer, a professional dancer. Uh, today at Studio Maestro, um, I had the honor to work with the kids of the Boys and Girls Club um, and I taught hip hop. Um, and to see them challenge themselves and really, really try um, was amazing. I am Jose Valencia. I was born in El Salvador, born and raised. And I'm a professional dancer and choreographer on stage and on TV. I taught them how to partner dance. And their dance today was salsa. You know, kids don't have the opportunity to go and do creative outlets. So for them to express themselves in a artistically um, inclination, they have this natural, free-flowing creativity that you don't have to, you don't have to activate, it's just natural. So, you just put them on a creative outlet and it just, magic just happens. These services were provided by the Maestro Arts Collective Program. So what I want to know is, what would you say to adults that are thinking to support that program so that we can continue doing this for the long term? I would say it's awesome and support it and just keep pushing because People could really benefit from this. Studio Maestro, it's it, it's amazing what this did. You don't know what it did to, especially to me, because I was not interested in dancing until today. So it could change a person's mind of how people think. That's what it did for me. Because it's really a good cause. Like it really, it really does teach kids to be creative. This is what some kids need to be able to be successful. They need that outlet. Hey, I hate high school, but you know what? I might be going to the studio to dance, and I know if I don't have my grades up, I'm not going to be able to participate in that. So it can be the carrot that might, you know, kind of excel and push that child into the success that they're looking for. Children are our future, so definitely. definitely investing in a child mm -hmm. is a huge, huge like accomplishment. But when we come to an event like this, and when those kids go home and they're talking to their parents, and they put that artwork up in their room and they're proud of it, and I told Tony earlier, they're not going to forget this. The first time I went to a real dance studio and a real dance instructor taught me how to dance. A real painter with art up on the walls taught me how they paint. This is such a worthy cause. I talked to one of them in particular and told me I have not been able to take a hip-hop class in forever. And he told me I miss it. They get so much out of it. Whether it's challenging them to do something that they're not used to doing. You know, doing something outside of school and something that they can actually choose to do, you know, and to enjoy.